Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year, happy 2024. I hope everyone had a really pleasant and connecting 2023 holiday season and that um, this year is off to a hopeful and grounded and connected uh, start. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my 2024 planner lineup. I'm also going to talk about the things that I used in uh, the past year in 2023, things that worked, things that didn't work, and um, how I'm changing it up this year. Really funny, this is um, my Nolte 9107 planner. Uh, this I used in 2023. Um, started back in March, um, as this is a March to March planner. So this is the one thing, actually one of two things that I'm carrying from last year to this year. And I will begin anew, um, in April of 2024 with next year's or not next year, but the next planner, uh, shortly. And so, uh, this I'm really excited to talk about. Um, but this is definitely one that I'm keeping from last year to this year, but why don't we go ahead and get started with last year's first things first, uh, what didn't work for me? Do you see these? These are my Traveler's Company notebooks. Um, they didn't work for me for this season, for this for this past year, only because I did too much. Um, I had, what I experimented with was having a different notebook for each sort of facet or function in my life, and it became too overwhelming for me. Am I gonna get rid of these? Absolutely not. Uh, I think these are going to continue to be a part of my life, but in 2024, there is no official like way that I'm going to use the Traveler's Company notebooks. As you can tell, they are chock full. They're just absolutely full. But I think the, the reason being is not because I use them all the time and they have so many purposes, but it's that I didn't really have a purpose and so they became like a catch-all. Like I had too much, too many different things in these notebooks so then it became almost like not a burden but definitely a literal and figurative weight in my bag. Um, so uh, first of all, this is my first, my very first um, Traveler's Company notebook. I did a uh, you know, setting up a new Traveler's Company notebook video recently in the in the last few months. Um, but this is my original. And um, what I love is that it has this uh, insert that just coordinates beautifully, the mustard yellow with the camel cover. Um, this will continue to be my, my travel uh, notebook. Um, and it's definitely going to keep me company uh, for our upcoming travels to Korea. Our family is going to Korea and Japan this summer. So um, this is definitely going to be uh, used during that season while we are, we are there. Um, but right now, I'm not going to be using this. There's no official, official uh, plan for these particular notebooks because I just didn't use them. I didn't, and I didn't really travel much last year. That's okay. Uh, but we shall see. And when they make um, an appearance back into my day-to-day -day life, I'll, I'll definitely um, tell you about it and, and make a video about it as well. So these did not work in 2023. Oops, sorry guys. I think this was out of frame a little bit. This is going to remain um, to the side. Uh, and when I do bring it um, into my life again, I'll definitely let you know about it. Uh, let's see. So... This um, you might have seen in last year's 2023 lineup. This is now almost a 10 year old five year journal. Uh, this, um, as you can see, quite sporadic, um, but you know what? My first entry was back in 2015 when my kids were toddlers. And uh, this is definitely a journal uh, that I'm not going to get rid of. Um, this is gonna be my final year. And what I'm doing is I'm giving myself license to just fill um, the whole page, uh, you know. Um, any of my 2024 uh, entries, um, it's going to take up the remainder of the page um, so that I can begin anew in 2025 and start a five-year journal. So this is my unofficial 10-year, but actual five-year journal. And I'm going to be using this 
uh, continuing this into 2024. This is my Hobonichi Hon edition, uh, 2023, and I didn't use it. It became an experimentation notebook, but I ended up not using it. And I think the reason why is because it's, it's a hardcover. I thought I would love it. And I think looking online, it's beautiful. And looking at it in person, I, I love the idea of this Hobonichi A6. But unfortunately, I think when I when it came down to me actually being in it and writing writing uh, plans for that day, um, I I did not like the experience. And I think it's because what brought me first into the fountain pen and YouTube and journaling world was truly my original Hobonichi, Hobonichi Techo A6 in the soft cover, and so. It won't be a surprise that um, I'm actually going to be using the 2024 soft cover original Hobonichi Techo. Um, but anyway, the reason why is I actually missed being in this format. The soft cover, even with the PVC, with the plastic cover, this is what I missed. And um, in 2023, as this was getting a lot of love and it was softening and getting that wear, um, it became more of a, a beloved, um, like sentimental planner of mine. And so I just did not use this one bit. And part of it too is because I found that I did not like this. Oh, this is some color play with the Crayola Super Tips, by the way. But anyway, as I was quickly figuring out that I didn't like this, um, I was looking into different types of planners and I stumbled upon the Nolte 9107. I actually don't know how I came to pick this one because um, there aren't any local, there aren't any domestic uh, retailers who sell this. I actually bought this online on Amazon. Um, but um, I just wanted to take a leap because I do like the um, vertical layout of um, you know, of especially of the traveler's notebooks. I do like the vertical layout versus the horizontal layout of um, like the Hobonichi weeks. Um, so I like the, the vertical layout. Also, I liked how it's just nice and compact. I can put this in my uh, fanny pack, my, my small portable bag that I bring everywhere with me. And the thing about these traveler's notebooks is that they're pretty bulky. And so I couldn't take this with me everywhere, especially when I was out running errands. But with the 9107, this went with me everywhere. And as you can see, if you do a size comparison, um, it's narrower than a Hobonichi Techo A6. It's maybe a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch longer than um, the A6. So this was very portable and therefore I was able to um, really use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, quickly going through it, there's a month at a glance and then there's obviously the week, the week at a glance and also um, a year at a glance. Last year's, current year and next year's version. Um, this is March to March and so in April I will be um, using this again and I love this neutral taupe color uh, as you can tell in the beginning I had um, this ink that I think worked really well and this was a sailor's kitsune biore biore that I thought was uh, a perfect match with with the cover so this is definitely one that I enjoyed using in 2023 that I will definitely continue to use in 2024 last but not least is my Hobonichi A5 Cousin. Uh, I will not be using this this year in 2024 only because um, it was just too redundant. Uh, I was trying to fill out my five-year journal and then I was trying to then complete my, uh, my daily planning or my daily journaling in here. Um, but with what I with with the month at a glance, like there's a month at a glance, a week at a glance, and then the dailies, uh, it just became too much. And I was keeping up with it uh, regularly all throughout, like maybe the first half of the year. But then in July, um, 
I just was not, let's see, in July, I really started um, missing, I really started missing all the days. Um, and I think, I think the big reason why that I just wasn't um, able to practice my daily journaling is because we did a, and we are continuing to do a, a downstairs uh, remodel and all of my journaling and fountain pen um, tools were all downstairs. And so for the bulk of last year, everything was covered with construction dust, with tarps, with, you know, with all of the things that are required to do a remodel. And it was very messy downstairs. And so it was hardly down there. Um, so I think my, what I'm eventually thinking is that um, after I finish uh, who knows actually, um, but I'm just going to take a break because sometimes to write a full page felt like too much. Many days I was able to fill a complete page without any problems, but I think with a lot of things being in flux and things being messy at home and summer vacation being, um, really unpredictable sometimes, especially if you've got school age kids, um, I was, it just felt overwhelming to commit to a whole page when by the end of the night, as I was about to fall asleep, I was just too exhausted. So I love the Hobonichi A5 still. Um, I just don't think it's going to work for me this year in 2024, but we shall see next year in 2025. Okay. So that is what didn't, well, what I used in 2023, what worked and what didn't work. What I'm bringing with me into 2024 is, I can't wait to show you this, um, it's these three. It's quite simple. I actually don't have uh, anything anything more complicated than this. Um, this is the Hobonichi Techo 2024. I'm not gonna be using this as a planner, but I will be using this as my daily journal. And uh, let's see. How I'm planning to use the months or the years at a glance is I track my cycle. Um, and so I've been tracking in 2023. And then I'm returning to uh, really, really, fo I'm really trying to focus on practicing yoga. And my expectations are quite low. My hope is that just in practicing yoga daily, that I can eventually get to a place where I'm practicing you know, it, where it becomes such a basic necessity in my life um, that I don't necessarily have to track it anymore. So it's at least five minutes, five minutes of being on the yoga mat, um, whether it's just um, independently going through a flow on my own, or uh, oftentimes I'm actually following a video from Yoga by Adrian. She is on YouTube. She's amazing. Um, and so each day that I do show up on the mat, I do take my... What is it? It's the Zig Clean Color Dot. And this one is in the Island Coral color, which I think if I look back on my 2022 journal, um, this is like a, a nod to my earlier, my earlier year when I was practicing yoga every single day and I was so proud. And each month I changed the color and then in April, on April 11th, that's when I had my ski accident. So I actually quit my yoga practice from that day forward. Um, uh, I'm returning to it and I used Island Coral back in February. Um, so I'm using it now for January. It was just the color that I was gravitating towards, but uh, I can't wait to just see the, the page fill up with dots. Um, so that's what I'm intending to do for the year at a glance. And then for this future log, uh, I was intending to maybe record times when I've uploaded a video on my channel. I still might do that. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing this year is um, really recording my body movement. Um, as I am in my, I'm approaching my mid 40s now, um, I really want to uh, focus this year on um, really increasing my strength and that means practicing yoga, it means lifting weights, it means go, you know, focusing on just rehabilitation with my knee since the ski accident, it's never really been the same. So I have uh, different um, exercises here. There's yoga, there's physical therapy, booty, workouts, walking, um, walking our dog, running, lifting weights, 
Tracy Anderson, I follow her videos on YouTube. Pamela Reef, she's also on YouTube. And then there's Pamela Reef abs. And uh, I've been doing ab workouts with my daughter on a pretty consistent basis. Um, as you can see, we haven't really done it this year in 2024, but um, I, I think it'll be really interesting to mark the, the sorts of um, activities I do each day and also see, you know, just how it impacts my mood. And for sure, I know that the body movement will will impact my mood in a really positive way. So every time that I um, do each exercise, I'm gonna put a little dot mark on the coordinating squares, and then we'll see how it goes um, over, over the months. Uh, this has a month at a glance as well. I don't know what I'm going to do in these sections, but for now, I do have kind of a, a little swatch or like a little log of the inks that I've played with or in my currently inked so far. And so these are the inks that I currently have in my pens. And then uh, I'm doing my daily, daily journaling. Uh, so that's how I'm changing it up this year. This isn't gonna be my planner. This is going to be my daily journal. This is my planner. And um, as you can see, it's not that I was in it every single week on a very consistent basis, but it is definitely um, my daily companion, um, especially in weeks where it seemed especially busy when I've got extra client work, lots of family commitments. Um, I use it to just take an inventory of, um, of just my activities that day to keep track of what to expect, you know, meal planning. It's thinking about um, scheduling, of course, that's what planners are for, right? But it helps just give me uh, an idea of what I'm, what I'm needing to do that week. This was a particularly busy week in May. And then there are some weeks where it just becomes a grocery list. <sighs> yeah. So I, I love this. This is fountain pen friendly. It takes ballpoint, because I love ballpoint pens as well. It takes every sort of pen beautifully. And so uh, I'm definitely getting this again for uh, 2024 when this finishes um, in March. And um, this is a plea to any local or domestic retailers here in the United States. Yoseka, um, Jet Pens, Atlas Stationers. I would love, love, love uh, it if you could carry the Nolte 9107 because right now I purchased this, it's only available on Amazon. So if we could have this available um, in some of our smaller retailers, I would love to support your business and purchase this uh, from you. So that is my request. So the Nolte 9107, absolutely love it. I'm going to use it again uh, for the remainder of the year. And then last but not least, um, this is um, a daily calendar, wall calendar, created by Five Metal Shop. And I found this, um, I think it was Jane the Crazy. She had um, mentioned this in one of her posts on Instagram. And can you look at this? Uh, graphic design at its best. I love the bold colors. I love the brightness. The pages are really thin. It reminds me of like rice paper. It's a little translucent. Okay, this might be a little risky, but I wonder if you can even see the translucency. Oop, okay, I guess that's not really gonna work. But uh, this rice paper, or it feels like rice paper, is just such a lovely texture. And um, I'll flip to a different page. Oh, this is awesome, look at this. This is February 19th, and it has um, the day of the week. It has the month. I'm not quite sure what this is, but down here, as you can see, it says 1-10, and this is referring to the lunar calendar. Um, gives you sunrise, sunset, and the lunar phase. And each page is bold, simple, beautiful, and the color combinations are so much fun. This is May 1st, it gives you a month. A monthly page and then oh that's interesting birthday of sea goddess i believe five metal shop is a taiwanese um, business so if you're looking at the um, sunrise and sunset i think it's pertaining to taiwan 
but um, not too far off, I don't think, um, to Seattle. But I think it's really great. And, you know, if I'm looking at the lunar calendar down here, then the lunar new year is going to be February 10th. And it's got a fun little monster on here. So I'm really, really excited about this. And um, I would love to be able to um, use this every year as well. I bought this one on Yoseka's website. Absolutely love, love, love it. I think this is it. This is my lineup for 2024. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Uh, I hope that it helps you in your decision making as you think about, you know, planners and journals that you would like to use um, for this year or next year. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.